It was hard to escape tonight's downpour, even for some people indoors. Tenants on the basement floor of the Maplehurst Apartments opened their doors to find several inches of water in the hallway. And tonight, the TJ Meenock Bridge remains closed. Those heavy rains push mud and rocks down from the hills onto the bridge. Right now, the city crews are working to get it reopened. That's where KXY Force Kyle Simchuk joins us now live. He continues our storm team coverage. And Kyle, this storm had a lot of people grabbing their phones and hitting that record button. Well, yeah, and a lot of our viewers sent us their videos on social media. This storm really touched all corners of the Inland Northwest tonight. It didn't take long for several downtown roads to turn into rivers. My dad said he'd give me five dollars if I swam out in the like the lake thing in our backyard. So I just got on my swimsuit and then I jumped in. These two near Francis and Ash. Just couldn't help themselves. For others, this storm was anything but enjoyable. All of a sudden, I heard like this gurgling sound coming from the bathroom, and I opened the door, and the toilet was spurting black water out of it. And I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is not good." Janice Slaughter lives on the basement floor of the Maplehurst Apartments. She decided to go outside to see what was happening. It was literally almost all the way up to the top of the door jam, and it was just pouring through the basement door. Across Maple Street, traffic trudged through deep puddles, causing long backups. And near the TJ Meenock Bridge, water raced down the hill carrying rocks, mud, and anything else it could, ultimately closing the bridge. City crews were also called to the Loof Carousel where water seeped into one of the party rooms causing minor damage. None of the horses were injured. And at Rogers High School, a clogged roof drain sent water into some hallways. Custodians got to work in no time. Sorry students, you still have class tomorrow. There was wind, rain, and lightning in Coeur d'Alene as well. Not the ideal day for a late cruise, the weather causing this man to pack up his fishing pole early. Yes, there's still a lot of cleanup, but people like Janice are trying to stay positive. It's not nearly as bad as it could have been, for sure. And back here at the TJ Meenock Bridge, it is still closed. We don't know how long it'll take crews to reopen it, but they're down there right now with street sweepers, heavy machinery. They're loading essentially these type of rocks into dump trucks to try to clear all of this out. The city of Spokane is reminding people to obey those road close signs. Aaron.